are back. We're here, episode 13 to the Road to National Stage. It's your boy Krishna, aka Man Fitness, and we are. I think 17 days out. Yeah. 17 days out from the competition. I don't really count show day because by that time, kind of work is pretty much, pretty much done. So, 17 days to work my ass off to make the 18th day count. Day one, you know. Uh, but today we're doing the back, as you see. It's gonna be my second, I believe, second last back workout. Next week I have one more, and then during peak week I still do back but it won't be crazy heavy. I did kind of cut a little bit of my volume, not volume wise in terms of like how much I do, volume in terms of like, I can say like weight. A little bit has went down more because like I don't want to injure myself. I'm a person, I'm a big believer. Like after probably like three to four weeks out, usually three weeks out of the competition, is your body, your joints are a little bit more weaker. So you have to pay attention to tiny things like that. Uh, so. I don't feel any aches. Protecta over the years have kept me good. Yo, it's the first year that I haven't gone to Protecta that long, which is like really good. I mean, I've been doing really well with my, my post home work and just being smart in the gym, you know? That high school college dude is gone. That man, man gym goer, I would say. Man gym beast, I don't know. Sweet God with the motherfucker is here training so I train smarter and but I still work harder because I ain't a bitch but we're gonna get the video started I'm gonna just take you guys throughout the day but I always like starting the day off with a nice little workout two o'clock let's get the video started bro my energy level is like this right now but yeah good job Second last back day of prep. Next week marks the last back day, like the tense back day almost in a way. And when the peak week arrives, you guys know the drill. We have a program from the coach that we gotta follow in terms of what work at selection, reps, sets, and so on and so forth. So, had a blast. Pump is amazing. 
Boys looking peeled as fuck. And some great news too. So yesterday's check-in when I had with the coach, we had one Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. He stated, well, I kind of pushed it every single week and asked him and eventually he kind of gave in and said that, well, your boy, if you saw some routine just now, me doing men's physique stuff, I'm gonna practice a little more because it's getting close to the show, but your boy is bringing back the board shorts one more time because I got a good amount of muscle mass added from the last time I went on stage. I think I added about roughly, if I did the math, I'm not good at that, not that good at math. But I'm pretty sure I added about roughly 20, 25 pounds from the last time I did men's physique. So that's a solid amount of muscle, solid amount of tissue added to my body. On top of that, I have a lot of muscle maturity from over the years. The last time I did men's physique, I think it was 2019. So that's four years. And I was 21. So your boy about to have some fun. But anyways, now your boy's gonna be heading home, having a post-workout meal. So I'm gonna catch you guys out there. I'm beat, I'm tired, and we posed for a little bit already, and I gotta do cardio tonight, 17 days, but catch you guys at home. Okay guys, so we are back home from the gym, shout out for Quinn and, uh, give, give Quinn and me a thumbs up guys, we planned that little like, the transition uh, trying some different shit but we are home right now having the post-workout meal very very sad meal we are 17 days out from a competition and the meals are getting very 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 I want food I miss my chicken and rice meals I miss the off-season meals Nick give me some food damn it but we have about roughly 70 grams of jasmine rice, as well as some broccoli, spinach, as well as a little bit of zucchini with four grams of olive oil and five and a half ounces of chicken, all mixed up with some mustard, spicy of course, and sriracha. Look at that shit. Oh yeah. But I'm gonna add this meal. I'm gonna relax for a little bit. Uh, mom took Gucci to the park because uh, the weather is kind of off and on right now. So when he comes back, probably hang out with him and maybe edit some photos and stuff for the Instagram and just a content shit. It's like, it's like a chill day. The last couple days of like last a week or two or shit like that, I just try to minimize as much stress as possible and spread out my work as much as possible. If I need to lay down a little bit and relax, I'm going to do it. I need food. But, eat this meal. And I'll just pick up the camera when I pick up the camera. One last thing. With this meal right here, we're having my uh, digestive supplements. We got two capsules of the glucose right here. Cover my face so I can register. One capsule of the digestive aid. And then, since we just worked out, I take one capsule, 500 milligrams of taurine right here. Yeah, I figured out the camera shit. I gotta cover my hand and show these shit. But this is my post-workout pillows right here. And yeah, this is gonna help pretty much. The purpose of this, a lot of people ask me why I take this shit. And it's pretty much, it allows the food to be properly digested and funneled into the, to the body part where it needs to go to, you know? Yeah. Ooh, that shit good. The next. Yeah, this is the best thing I've ever bought in my life. Like, a creamy machine? 
Y'all made fun of me in the house, but it makes them bang an ass ice cream every damn night. Anyways, this is gonna be my like late night dessert. It's 1:28, pretty late right now. I try like to be in bed early by now. It's a new routine I've been creating for myself. But when I don't have work the next day, sometimes that just shit just goes different ways. Anyways, we have meal number five, post workout meal going down. 70 grams of rice, some vegetables. I throw a little bit of lettuce, asparagus, um, and some spinach mixed together with some chicken. Five and a half ounces, three cranks of salt, as well as four grams of olive oil. I really gotta buy some macadamia nut oil again. Just going from that to this, taste the flavor. Just, anyways, but that is a post workout meal. And since it's prep, Coach cut out most of my carbs. It's the only carbs I have pre and post workout exactly the same. Your boy bought a neutral creamy machine breeze thing, and now I make ice cream every damn night. This is one scoop. 50 grams, I mean, of whey. I choose the one from, right here, I'll show it to you guys where I got, I, got, I got it from. I have the one from Raw Nutrition. This is freaking amazing. Maple, waffle, A, part Canadian now. But 50 grams of that, mixed with some water, uh, some sweetener, cinnamon, mix it all together, freeze it for 24 hours, which is the only sucky part about the machine I don't like about it. We'll find some way to figure it out, but 24 hour frozen time. Blend it. I mixed in and I mixed in 18 grams of peanut butter, some syrup, and for every time I eat this shit, I don't need a cheat meal no more. Maybe Nick, I need sushi, but that's only good. We eat this meal, eat that meal, and go to bed because we gotta be up early. Professor Cardio. But guys, we did enjoy this video. Episode 13, Road to National Stage. Road to Go Pro. Hit the boy. I mean, hit the like button. Subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when next video goes live. Comment down below how you like the series so far. What you guys want to see. It's your boy Krishna, aka Man Fitness. Signing out. Peace out.